Good evening ladies and gentlemen, how are we getting on? Welcome to a brand new Fallout 76 video. So, we are about 24 hours or so out from the launch of Season 13, along with the Once in a Blue Moon update tomorrow, so it seems like a good time to dive in and go through all of the rewards that will be coming in the season. Okay, yeah, so Season 13 is kicking off tomorrow, looking forward to this one. First up, little reminder, if you haven't already, go back through your scoreboard for Season 12. Make sure you pick up any of the rewards that uh, you have earned along the way. Make sure you don't lose those, because uh, once it changes over, they will be gone. So, as usual, get in there while you can. And let's have a look at the new one. So, the new scoreboard is called Shoot for the Stars. It's based on Stars of the Silver Screen and that sort of a vibe. So, should be very, very cool. But we're here for the rewards, so... Uh, Let's get stuck in. So, as usual, we're going to skip over the currency, you're going to skip over the um, consumable stuff that we've seen uh, a million times before, and just try and focus on the cool new stuff. So, rank two, first up, we have the first new thing, Score Booster. Temporarily grants 25% bonus score whenever you gain score for completing challenges for 24 hours. So, rather than the Fallout First extended score boost, this is just a consumable that lasts 24 hours. So we have a re-roller for re-rolling challenges as a, a premium one. Obviously, we get uh, two free ones every day anyway. Devil's Moon player icon. Stuntman leather armor paint. So this is basically a red, white, and blue stars and, well, no stripes on there, but, you know, you get the idea. Vibe, definitely uh, an interesting choice, kind of uh, leaning towards the evil Knievel, except um, legally distinct and all that. <laughs> Gilded paint for a 10mm pistol at rank 5. I actually have a bit of a soft spot for the 10 mil, but not so much for this gold paint. I don't really like gold. Oh, I'm not a big fan of gold or yellow as colour, really, but anyway. But yeah, that is a bit kind of... I have actually seen some IRL gold firearms that look really quite cool. Um, and actually, there were a couple in Redfall that were really nice as well. This, I'm not so sold on. Like, that's a bit kind of gold leafy. And, uh, yeah, not totally down for that one. So, six-pack of new cola. Fall of Us exclusive at rank six as well. Honk, honk, stab, stab, player icon. Okay, don't know what the uh, context of that is. Horror movies, I guess, but, uh, yeah, okay. Devil's Moon poster for your camp. That's always nice. That's more my speed. That's, yeah, it's quite cool. There's a bit of extra wall decor. I might have to make some more use of these eventually. And we have our first power armor paint. Golden T45. It's... Yeah, I'm sorry. It's hideous. <laughs> I really don't like that. But to each their own. Not going to be using it myself. And we have uh, a cool thing at 10 as well. Concessions sign for uh, Fallout First members at rank 10. I'm guessing you can put letters on this thing. It looks like that sort of thing and um, customise it. So if you want to advertise what you've got for sale at your camp, then uh, yeah, that's quite cool. Or possibly what you haven't got in your vendor. That's uh, also useful for that if you have a trade-based thing. Applause sign at rank 12. Okay, this is quite fun. That will go on the wall quite nicely in camp. Uh, definitely harking back to that uh, studio filming environment. That's cool. Uh, script as well. Stuntman metal armor paint. So again, more red, white, blue stars. Uh, that's fine on the metal paint. Mm, yeah, I'm, I'm not really down for that. It's not really my style, but uh, if you are. So cryptid cards wall display. Okay, are we getting some cryptid cards from something? Yeah, we are. I think they were a reward from the two new events, actually. They uh, drop as part of the reward pool from the new events, so it looks like that's some way you can display these. I was wondering what the deal with that is, but uh, apparently, there we go. Stick your wall display up and uh, show your cards off in there. That's cool, so throw them in your stash box. Stamps at 16. Oh, by the way, yes, uh, the stamp cost of uh, all the rewards from Expeditions will be coming down on the uh, update tomorrow as well, so it's one of the uh, cool cost quality of life uh, upgrades that will be coming tomorrow, so definitely... Uh, Good time to start thinking about spending some of those stamps. Or, uh, yeah, maybe start earning some extras if you've not really been into it, because you're going to get more for your money as of tomorrow. So, rank 17, Beast of Beckley poster. Okay, a four-eyed werewolf type thing, or possessed wolf or something. Cool. Nice little uh, wall decoration anyway. Golden Excavator armor, also hideous at 18. <laughs> rank 19, the egg movie poster. Yeah, that seems like um, an old-school horror movie <laughs> from the mid-20th century vibe but uh yep that definitely uh, ticks the box quite neatly there red curtain door oh i like the look of that i wonder what the other side of it looks like i guess a bit flat to be honest that would make sense i suppose but 
Yeah, red curtain door, that's uh, a nice bit of variety there. I wonder if it'll be something that must snap into place, or it'll be something more like ordinary curtains that can kind of manoeuvre into place. I'm guessing it's a snap, but uh, still, cool little uh, variation on door. See that uh, getting some use. Robot armor paint there at 23. More re rollers at 23 as well if you're a Fallout first player. And a clipperboard player icon at 24. That's, uh, well, that's good. Uh, Fallout first exclusive at 24 as well. We've got another poster, which is. Um, yeah, I can't even say that. Nope, not even going to try. <laughs> Give up. <laughs> Movie poster anyway. We got an Agua poster, which definitely does not look so much like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, but uh, it's a cool poster nonetheless, so I definitely look forward to having that one. That's tank rank 25, score boost at 26, just times one for uh, 24 hours. I wonder if you can combine those with uh, double score weekends and stuff as well to really boost them. I would imagine you can, you usually can with stuff like this, so that's cool. And at rank 26 for Fallout First players, we've got Attack of the Fishmen Billboard, which is cool. These things are fun to have in your camp. There's some Nuka Cola ones from previous seasons that I've got they use occasionally for just sort of extra dressing of the scene around a smaller camp, and uh, they're particularly good for that. So down here, it's getting long, we've got Studio Lights at 27. That's cool. I definitely want those. Definitely happy about that. And 28 Golden T51 Power Armor Bait. Yuck. <laughs> and we also have a Crystal Gazer outfit for... Fall out first player, so yeah, if you want to uh, be predicting people's future and doing a bit of work with the old crystal ball there, that's uh, an interesting look for that outfit. I'll be curious to see whether or not we see many people running around in that. In rank 32, we have a photo frame, okay, fine, not bothered about that, and a score boost for Fall out first players. The marine armor paint comes in at 33, that's a bit weird looking, but marine armor always is, so it's just what it is. So rank 35, we have a new ally, Joey Bellow, who looks like he might be a movie director of some kind, so that's interesting, cool. It's a new ally for the season, definitely check that one out. Rank 36 is lunchboxes, 36 also has Jersey Devil poster for uh, those of us who fall out first, that's quite cool, I actually quite like the look of that uh, particular movie poster. Interesting style, hmm, very cool. Theatre signs at 37, available for everybody. Definitely going to make use of those. Um, yeah, that, that's cool. I like that. I could see that fitting in a few gaps, like particularly small gaps at the top of walls and stuff. That would be nice to have. Golden T60 at rank 38. And 39, we have legendary modules, along with a theatre door for Fallout First Players. That's actually quite nice. That'd be quite a cool internal door, that one. Hmm. Might get some use out of that. Rank 40, we have Atoms, and we also have a Fallout First exclusive. It's the Film Strip Photo Frame, which, uh, yeah, that's fine. I'm not really into the photo frames myself, but there we go. 43, we have the Combat Armor Stuntman Paint, which uh, getting just slightly more arm interesting armors now, but not big fan of that personally still. Hollywood Popcorn Machine at rank 44. If you missed out on the previous one and want to, or just want one with a different skin, there we go. There's an opportunity for that one usually found under the resources tab in your build menu. I tend to use it less for popcorn, which you can eat as a consumable, and more for sort of scrappy decoration item personally, but uh, yeah, popcorn machine is still quite cool. So we've also got lunchboxes at rank 44. Two, 45, we've got miniature city set. Okay. Um, I'm guessing this has got sort of floor decor kind of scattered around and uh, dress your camp up type thing. That's fine, that's okay. 46, we have Voltex Supply Crate, so some scrap. Uh, along with the Fall of Foos first exclusive Gilded 44 paint. Now, we've got a Gilded 44 paint in existence already. This one, I think, flips the colours, I think. And I actually think it looks a little bit better for it. I quite like that. Pretty pistols and in general, including the 44, are basically useless, really. But uh, that is quite nice. The Badaboom Super Sledge. <laughs> okay, I don't know if this is a new item, but I assume it's a skin for a Super Sledge. It certainly looks like it is. 47, that's uh, silly, <laughs> but I like it. It's kind of cool. If you're into your Super Sledge, 48, we have more awful power armor paint for the X01 this time. Atoms at 49, along with the Mass Attraction movie poster, which is, uh, yeah, not bad for full of us, but that's, that's definitely looking a little better. At 51, we have Atoms. At 52, we have a new player icon. That's uh, very um, Julius Caesar. I think that's the, the thing I'm thinking of. Cleopatra on the go there. Clearly about to shank him. Uh, bad day for that guy. 
52, we also have some re-rollers for Fallout First Players, and we have the Scout Armor Paint in the red, white, and blue as well. That's uh, weirdly slightly better. It also has a slight trucks looking wrestler vibe going on with the face mask, but uh, okay. And re-rollers at 54. 54 also has an in luchador masked wrestler outfit. Okay, making the, uh, the joke I was making before. Now it pops up at uh, rank 54 as an actual outfit. I'll, I need to see this in game before I really form an opinion, I think, but it's there's definitely something cool there. Rank 55 is listed as a... This is probably not correct. This is probably not a Fallout First exclusive, I'm guessing, because then that leaves 55 completely blank. Um, unless this is also 55. Somewhere here there's an error, either way. Theatre row seating. Um, yeah, okay, seating, that's cool. I think these are probably separate, not a single piece. But, difficult to say at this current juncture. Either way, we'll see soon enough once the scoreboard uh, goes live tomorrow. Rank 56, however, we have Gilded Railway Rifle Paint, which, again, the same kind of black with gold detailing. This looks better. So I'm not a big fan of the, uh, the sort of gold paints and stuff, but black and gold like this does look pretty slick. It's a jewellery stand flare display, so uh, you can use this to show off your backpack flares. Exactly how it's going to work, I'm not quite sure. Because normally we craft them directly by attaching them to a backpack uh, in the armour menu, so I'm guessing you'll just activate this and just pick them from the list, I guess. But uh, we'll have to see, rank 57. Still, being able to show off your backpack flares is quite cool, because normally you've only got two on display at a time, and they're behind you, so unless you're in third person, you won't see them. So I, I quite like this edition, I think that's a good edition. I'm going to go out on a hunch I bet this is a community suggestion. I don't know, but it, it's got that vibe to it for sure. So 58, we have Ultrasight Golden Armor. That's slightly less horrific, but still pretty horrific, uh, along with some stamps as well. And another score booster at 59. And a race car driver under armor. Okay, that's quite cool. Rocket sponsorship makes sense on there. Um, you have to see that in game, and obviously it's going under your armor, which is also going to go under your outfits anyway, if you're anything like me. But um, and that's quite cool. I wonder if it functions as uh, secret service stuff and can have the same sort of linings as secret service stuff, or if not, do you need new? Uh, we'll have to wait and see. But uh, if it does, that would be quite cool. It's our first exclusive, anyway. Rank 63, we've got the Secret Service armor paint, which is not bad. The mask on helmet on Secret Service armor is always a bit iffy, but uh, yeah, that's not so bad. That kind of works. A weapon of Mass Attraction player icon. I actually quite like that. That's quite cool at 64. And uh, long after that, at 64, we have a pyrotechnic kit. Want to walk away from explosions and stay safe? Then add a pyrotechnic kit to your camp today. It looks like it wires up. Uh, basically, it looks like a firework launcher from that was added late in Fallout 4's lifespan, I think it was part of the DLCs. Uh, it looks like the same principle as that, I think. By the way, that's cool, it's going to be a fun thing to have in your camp. Art Deco Theatre wallpaper there, okay. Uh, I'm not sure about the theatre bit generally, but as wallpaper, it looks okay, not overly intrusive, and uh, quite nice, yeah. 67, we have our flare, which is a film reel. I actually quite like that. It's... I don't think it's going to look spectacular in-game, to be honest. I think um, it's possible a lot of the um, detail and the, the way it hangs on your backpack and stuff will probably lose some of the more interesting film reel-like bits of it. I think it's going to be kind of easy to miss the coolness of it. But um, I like the idea, nonetheless. So, down here we have Fallout First Exclusive Red Carpet Rug. That's quite nice. So this is um, a sort of hallway runner rug rather than uh, one of the square ones. We've got one of those, I think, in the current season that's kind of blue with stars. That is uh, definitely cool. Hellcat Power Armor in gold there. That looks awful. I don't like that at all. 71 is nuclear key cards. Director's chair at 71 for Fallout First Players as well. A little bit of extra camp decor there. That's quite nice. It looks... It's not got in-game lighting on it, which kind of, with a lot of this these pictures kind of throws it off a little bit and it makes it hard to tell whether or not it looks cool i find anyway but uh, i could see that getting some use at least rank 71 that's okay uh chinese stealth suit with woodland camouflage paint uh, i don't quite get that um i mean i get get the idea you know woodland camouflage woodland operations blah 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 blah, blah. you crouch it makes you invisible anyway so you don't really need it you just crouch it seems like a, a little gratuitous but if, if you're into that then uh fine i suppose 
Um, it does change up the colour of the helmet. I know people like to combine the stealth suit's helmet with other outfits sometimes, so uh, that could be potentially a bit more interesting, though. Popcorn emote at 73 for Fallout first players. That's cool. Looking forward to getting hold of that. Motorcycle stuntman player icon. That's quite cool at 74. Gramophone. A rank 76 reward. Hollywood gramophone. Nice. Um, if that plays music as well and acts as a radio, that's even cooler. Um, that's going to be a nice bit of decoration. I definitely want that. I could see myself using that a lot. Uh, along with the Western movie set facade. Hmm. Not sure how this is going to work. Maybe it'll snap to foundations. I'm guessing that's the, the plan, but we'll definitely have to make some use of that. Uh, I see what they're going for here. I'm not completely sold myself. I think we'll see. Hmm. Um, like making that into a practical, functional camp uh, that looks good from any other angle than just the street is going to be uh, potentially iffy. But we'll see. I'll reserve judgment a little bit. But, uh, so rank 78, we have T65 Golden Armor. Caps at 81. Meh. Gilded Paint for the Gatling Gun at... 81 as well for Fallout First. Again, that's black with gold detailing. A bit more gold than uh, some of the others there. Um, I am unconvinced. Also, it's not very well illuminated, so it's kind of hard to see that in any kind of detail. Um, I'm guessing from the angles and stuff, the person taking the picture had a hard time getting a good shot of that. It's got that feeling to it. It's also got the spike on the front of the Gatling laser. It's the, the thunder pipe um, shape to it. I assume there's some kind of historical reference going on there that I just don't get, but uh, yeah, I mean, if you're into that, I can see people being into that, <laughs> but uh, I'm not sure I'm sold. Golden Rope Barrier, this is cool. That's going to make for a fun little um, fence alternative, not so much um, in, as part of the junk walls, but maybe just to stop you falling off stuff and separating out areas, you know, demarking out, say, a crafting area from the rest of your camp if you're having more of an open plan design. I, just, I, don't know, I can see that getting some use at 82. Along with some Fallout First exclusive re-rollers as well. Devil's Moon Movie Projector. So I'm guessing you can watch, presumably, at least a, a few seconds of a movie playing on there. I don't imagine it'll play much. Yeah. Otherwise it would just be uh, quite the drain, I imagine, on resources. Yeah, that, that's an interesting idea. I'll be definitely looking forward to putting that in a camp and seeing what happens with that. Could be quite cool. Carry weight booster at 84. Popcorn loot bag at 85. That's fun. I like that. Camera pack backpack. Ah, I like that. Little backpack design with... Um, uh, yeah, that's a bit different. That's got a little bit more character to it than uh, some of them. I'm not sure how well it's going to work with uh, sort of jetpacks and stuff. Obviously, everything looks weird with jetpacks on there. But uh, yeah, I do like the look of that. That's quite nice. Hollywood Stars floor at 86. There you go. If you want to have the Walk of Fame right through your camp, why not? Lunchboxes at 87 as well. We've not had many lunchboxes this time through. In fact, I think that might be the first set that we've had. So, uh, yeah. Um, personally, I'm fine with that. I've got absolutely stacks of them sat in my stash box, so that's entirely fine, but uh, surprising to have less. Rank 88, Golden Union Power Armor. Also hideous, but somehow slightly less hideous than some of the others. Uh, along with perk cards and a Hollywood vanity. Oh, for uh, that dressing room vibe. That could be fun if you're going for that kind of uh, Hollywood style camp. You could definitely do something cool by the end of the season with that. Uh, yeah, go in the uh, in the bedroom as a dressing table quite nicely. Atoms as well at 90, along with a Hong Kong Stab Stab movie poster that ranked 90 for Fallout first players as well. Nearly there now. Rank 91, we have 250 bullion and an, the wrong icon for a neon light set. Okay, these two are the wrong way around, I think. Yep. So, yeah, it looks like uh, they're pro this neon light set's going to look like this, which is quite cool. I could see that if you're having those individually on the wall or even as a set like that, that, that could definitely be quite cool. Hmm, look forward to that one. So, at rank 92, what we'll actually have is script. So, switch the icons around. At 93, we get our Stein. I like that Stein. A nice kind of Art Deco, black gold, um, Hollywood vibe. Uh, Stein is really, really cool. I like that a lot. Blue Devil poster at 94. Oh, this is fun. Rank 94, Fallout First Reward, Rubber Monster outfit. Uh, I can see a lot of people running around in that, for sure. That's going to get some love. Rank 95 has a theatre marquee, so that'd be fun for a little entrance for your camp. 
and uh, it looks like it powers up so exactly, I'm guessing it's just got bits that glow and then you put your own uh, writing on it but yeah that's quite cool wait for me hey out at 96 along with gold bullion marquee letters set at 97 a new letter set um simple i'm guessing it goes on stuff like this and on the um there was something we saw earlier uh back at rank right near the beginning i think yeah the concession stein um i'm guessing those letters go quite well on that as well put coins at 98 uh, along with the large goldie award so looks like a life-size maybe vault boy but in gold with the director's um megaphone and the regular sized one at 99 which will presumably go on tabletops and the like which is cool and at rank 100 everything gets a bit wibbly we have the soundstage shelter oh a shelter okay that's a bit more interesting Full shelter as a reward at rank 100 i guess i might be doing a shelter build um, at the end of the season then come sort of uh, september ish which is probably when this will come to an end which is interesting because it will collide a little bit with uh, Starfield, but that's fine. Uh, game board at rank 100, and Icon, and Atoms, and a camera if you have Fallout first, which is quite cool as well. So, yeah, I'll link all this down below as usual, the 76 um, seasons page, if you want to have a closer gander yourself. But yeah, there's some good rewards on there, there's some nice camp stuff. On the whole, I don't think this is quite as exciting as some of the seasons have been. Um, I couldn't put my finger on exactly why. I don't feel like there's a massive change there. But I also don't feel like a lot of the rewards are exciting. It's not entirely consumables and caps and stuff like that. They've moved away from having too much of that, which is good. But I think some of the stuff that is here just doesn't quite grab me in the same way. Um, really cool that there is a shelter as the rank 100 reward. That's the, the big sort of prefab type slot, I suppose, for the season. Based on the way that recent seasons have been going. But uh, obviously being a shelter and they bumped it towards the end. It's a shelter. It's a big space. Well, they're all big spaces, relatively speaking. So I kind of see why that has gone where it has. But yeah, definitely have to check that one out. Um, yeah, some good camp stuff. A couple of interesting outfits. But as I say, it doesn't quite get me going in the way that some of them have done. But we'll see. It'll uh, it'll keep us busy for the summer nonetheless. So, definitely going to dive into um, the patch notes tomorrow. And we'll go over everything new that is coming in the update in a little bit more detail. So, watch out for that one. Get that uh, notification bell and the subs and everything. Well, it's just somewhere down here, isn't it? But, uh, yeah, make sure you hit that up if you want to get a bit of an overview, overview while we uh, go through maintenance tomorrow. Should be cool. And, yeah... Uh, going to jump back into streaming at 76 tonight, actually, as uh, we've had a little bit of downtime, kind of, with Life, the Universe and everything catching up. So back to streaming at 76, and I've got a little something different lined up towards the latter part of the week, I think, before we see you sort of make hard decisions for what we're going to play for the rest of the summer while we wait for Starfield, which I'm very hyped for, and I'm going to be coming quite a lot in the coming weeks as well. So, yeah, do check out those videos as well. But for now, I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. Do hope you folks enjoyed having a look at the season. If you did, like, subs, social media links, merch store, channel memberships, all that good stuff down below as well. If you'd like to support the channel that way, it hugely, hugely helps out. Tons more content coming this summer and beyond as well. So, uh, yeah, really, really appreciate that support. And, yeah, join us for the live streams, as I say, kicking those back off again this evening. But for now, thank you very much for watching, and I look forward to speaking to you all very, very soon.